three preps that are free yet essential to your survival. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. These three things you can do without spending a dime. We're all on a budget. We all look to try to do things that spread our prepping budget as far as we possibly can, right? So these are three things that you can do that don't cost you a dime. You could spend money on one of them, maybe two of them, but you don't have to. What are they? The first one I'm going to talk about, we'll get to the other ones that are very important and totally different, but the first one is spiritual preparedness. Thanking Him, going to Him in prayer. This helps with your morale. This helps with your overall state of being. It helps with your mental welfare and your physical welfare. Knowing, having a relationship with God is very important to me, my family, and those around me. It may be to you, it may not, may not be to you. And whether you look at, you know, you call him God, look at Mother Earth, the Great Spirit, whatever, it's all free will given to us by our Creator. We all have the free will to believe how we want, which is good. That is good. Some people aren't always on the right path. Heck, I haven't always been on the right path. I doubt you have always been on the right path also. But prayer and spiritual preparedness is an essential part of the overall preparedness um, aspect, plan. And if you don't want to hear all the religious stuff, stay tuned. We're going to talk about the other stuff also. It's just very important to me. I love my Heavenly Father. I'm very grateful for giving the opportunity to have this life, to have my physical body, to have all this beautiful world around us to live in, my beautiful children, a nice home, neighbors tearing up and down the road down there with quads. <laughs> After next, they'll probably go over and start popping off with their ARs. Yes, that's another thing. All the rights that he has given us are human rights, a right to protect ourselves, our right to speak, our right to free will, all these things, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, let's get on to the second one. The second one is mental ability, mental fitness. Like I said, you can spend money. I mean, there's supplements to help with your mental um, clarity, your mental health, stuff like that also. Um, I try to stay on the natural side of things instead of the big farm, you know, A stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that stuff. Um, they just want to drug up people and make a bunch of zombies. I don't like that. Um, but there are natural remedies out there. You can forage for them. You can buy them. But what I'm really talking about is your mental ability to adapt and overcome. Semper Gumby, always flexible. Being able to um, adapt and overcome a situation that is very demanding that you're always thinking, whether you're in a tactical situation, uh, whether I'm in the garden, whether I'm, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm always thinking, using this. This is the most powerful tool in preparedness next to him. So working on your mental capability, your mental strength, your mental aptitude, and your, just your overall ability to remain flexible, to roll the situation, to adapt, what you're doing to the situation to be effective in that situation, to survive the fight, to be more prepared, to whatever it might be. This is very important. One thing we got blessed with lately was we found that we have elderberry. This is one of the things from it. Elderberry growing on our property. So pretty soon you'll see a video about that also. We cleared the area all out, got rid of all the old stocks, burned them, cleared out all the blackberries. It's amazing. But anyway, this is way off topic, but I just want to show you this because a little bit was showing me this. All right. Thank you. Mental 
ability and that it is a, a vital prepper skill. If you're able to just figure things out, you know, use this. Figure out how to do things, like how to build raised beds out of things and stuff like that. How to take old door trim and then screw them to the side of a raised bed on either side and then put a wider piece up here, some twine here, and for that's for our Jerusalem artichokes, our sun chokes to grow up. I made it wider at the top, right? Because that's where they grow up and they get bigger. So yes, and I can add twine going up this. The ability to figure out, not right now, baby, to figure out how to make a raised bed out of logs or an old table or pallets or doors from a corner unit or lumber or rocks or whatever it may be. Situations like this, figuring out how to make things with your hands using this and minimal uh, equipment and skills or uh, minimum equipment and you know stuff that you have to buy physical stuff the attitude of never give up never say die never quit attitude is also vitally important because we're in a situation where it's shtf the whole world's collapsed around us everything's gonna be difficult it's gonna be much more difficult to do anything in regular life if we get down, if we let ourselves get down, if we give up, if we get overwhelmed, we're not going to be effective. We have to embrace the suck. Turn my love from the military. We have to be used to being outside of our comfort zone. And a lot of that has to do with mental ability. Military, for example. I have a lot of experience there, right? Yes, I do. So... All these hardcore military schools, high speed, low drag, uh, very, very mentally challenging, whatever you want to call it. All these schools have something in common. For example, take BUDS, SEAL training to become a Navy SEAL. Is it physical? Yes. But I tell you what, it's at least 80, if not 90 or more percent mental. It's, they don't want people to quit. You can be the perfect male specimen of physical fitness and ability and fail, completely fail because you do bare minimum or you can't even do bare minimum because you, you're, you break down mentally, you quit. You gotta keep going at all costs no matter what. People understand if they've been boots on the ground You've been in a situation where you got rounds impacting around you, you got concrete ships falling on you, you got dust, you got dirt flying all over the place, explosions. You can't just curl up on a ball and quit. You gotta keep on fighting. If you get shot, okay. If you need to, throw a tourniquet on it. Keep fighting. You can't quit, you can't give up, you can't quit, or you're dead. Period. Same situation, SHTF happens. Bad guys are gonna be around. You got a family to feed. You can't just curl up and ball and give up because the world's falling apart around you. You got to be strong. All right, on to the third one. Physical fitness, right? Physical fitness is free. You can go to a gym. Like I said, you can pay for it if you want. You can pay, you know, buy DVDs or whatever, stuff like that. You can buy workout equipment. You go to a gym, pay for a gym membership, stuff like that. But you don't have to. Push-ups are free. Sit-ups are free. Crunches are free. Lunges, chair or uh, bench dips. Um, even if you have bars for bar dips, usually you got somewhere where you can do pull-ups for free. Um, squats, flutter kicks. Um, I, mean, I mean, I can go on and on and on about exercises that are free. Hiking, biking. Okay, you got to buy a bike. <laughs> but running is free other than the shoes, of course. You know what I mean. You got to get out there and do it. Every, like I said, everything's going to be more difficult in an SHTF scenario. Everything's going to be more, more mentally demanding and more physically demanding. You're not gonna be going to the office anymore and sitting behind a desk, if that's what you do. Maybe you're in, maybe you do maybe manual labor. And that's good, that's good experience. That working outside in the elements, no matter what. That's a good thing to have. Yeah. But always be working on your physical fitness, no matter what. And it's not about how much you can bench necessarily. It's not about how many of what you can do. It's more about for me, it's the functionality of fitness. I don't have huge muscles, yet I'm very capable at doing what I need to do. I'm very capable at performing any task I need to do. And I can bench pretty decent too. The weights are important. 
but you can do so many things without that. Look up video, I'm not gonna make a, fi a fitness video. One person I really do like though, one channel, a huge YouTube channel. I'm sure you probably already heard of him if you're into fitness. Jeff Cavalier of Athlete X. Great channel. Awesome dude. He really thinks outside the box when it comes to fitness and how to go about doing it. He'll show you some stuff in the gym, but he'll also show you body weight stuff and different ways to hit different muscles and different and different like that. He's trainer for a lot of professional athletes, actors for their roles to get them all cut and stuff like that ripped. But you don't have to be cut and you won't want to be ripped uh, because as a prepper, if you probably want to have a little bit extra. I'm probably too low body fat right now. I could probably put on some body fat to um, help myself have a better chance in a survival situation. But I'm also prepared. I have food I can eat. So I know that I can maintain and I can do it, do the things. Um, if I wasn't prepared though, having a little extra body fat would probably be very advantageous. I just, I can't, I, and I know this isn't very popular in any world, except for the fitness world itself, because it takes work. You actually have to get up and you actually have to go do it. But I'll tell you what, once you start, just start, please. Start and keep at it. Once you get into it a week or two, and maybe a month down the road, when it's just part of your routine, and it's, then it starts to feel good. You feel really good about yourself. Your, your muscles, your body, your joints, everything's just more fluid. Um, you're more like lubricated. You're more, uh, I, I don't know how to put it. It's just, you feel so much better. And along with that is eating right. Healthy, whole, natural foods like God put here for us to eat. Not a bunch of processed crap. Do I eat processed crap? Yes, of course I do. But I really limit it. I hope you guys take this seriously. And these are things, like I said, you can do for free. You can get on your knees and pray to God anywhere for free. You can use your brain and think anytime you want for free. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, squats, go for a walk, go for a jog, go for a swim. Do a lot of things. Climb a tree for free. But... This all takes work on your part. So I hope you do it. Remember, prepping is living insurance. And I want the biggest policy I possibly can. Have a wonderful day. And blessings to you and yours.